Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake, this is Nadia, this is Buddy, this is Sedona, and today we uh, uh, are talking about Violent Night, a movie starring David Harbour, which is in theaters currently. Um, what did you think of this film? Oh man, oh man, am I excited to tell you my thoughts because I could tell that you liked it less than me. So I'm going to guess you're going to give it a four, but I am going to give it a seven. What did you like about this movie? Am I right about your rating? Yeah. Oh, I'd give it a four or five. Um, I could tell by your tense shoulder. I'd say for yeah, for, <laughs> for the first half of it, I'd give it like a two because it was just kind of, look, it's just not my thing. It, it's it's the kind of movie where um, kind of see where it's going, what it's trying to do. It's it's being kind of this edgy take on uh, on Santa Claus. Uh, it's basically it's basically the plot of Die Hard. You've never seen Die Hard, no. So to me, it was just like okay, they're doing Die Hard, but Santa Claus is there. Santa Claus is played by David Harbour, and he's like an alcoholic, and he's mean. Okay, cool, great. The rest of the movie, it's it's very tonally, it's very broad in its humor, and and it has these kind of like archetypal figures that are, we like to make fun of, like the young teenager who's like into social media. And it's just, it's very, very on the nose, very obvious. And you know exactly what it's going to do from the beginning. And you're just kind of like, all right, it, well, let's do this. You know, it's, it's edgy Santa who says fuck and who, who murders people. It's not a horror movie. It's an action movie. It's like die hard. It's just like what it is. It's not my cup of tea. The ending was a little more satisfying because they got kind of creative with the kills there was some good gore. Final act was pretty good. That's what raised it, you know, a, a, a star for me. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I just, I, it's not my thing. Mm. It's not my thing. Well, usually these kind of movies are my thing. And I think it became my thing, like, halfway through it. But I do agree. It, I just felt like it had a lot of scenes in there that could have been cut down. This movie was way too long. I'll get into it in spoiler, but I feel like a lot of the points they were trying to make, I already understood as the audience. Therefore, they didn't need to like reiterate it. But they were trying to get into David Harbour, um, the Santa Claus's background, like, you know, way too much. I felt like was even unnecessary. I think it would have been a good like sketch on college humor or something, you know, like back of the, you know, just like a fake trailer, sort of like the Weird Al thing. Uh, you know, it, it, it was like a good joke for like a, a five minute video. You know, it tried to be cute and violent and edgy. And I think it just didn't mix totally great. You know, it, it, it just, I, I mean, then again, the people in the audience seem to be enjoying it. I don't know. Like if you're going to go like edgy with this and really like make violent Santa, then do it. But but it also wanted to be like a touching story. And I thought it was kind of eh, just very predictable. You know, the divorced parents and the kid that doesn't want them to get, you know, they want them to get back together and, you know, all that kind of stuff. The stock villain characters who are just like bland and just like whatever. Like, let's just see them get Well, I killed. think like all Christmas type movies are, whether it's a violent night or a silent night, like it's going to be predictable in some kind of way because it's... A retelling of a traditional story right in some way like you're not going to think santa claus is going to be not redeemable or anything else like that you know where it's heading but i think that's also like enjoyment of these types of films is that you know the overall arching story you're just kind of seeing a different perspective and a different take on it this one is obviously not made for kids it's made for more so i mean well it's little kids maybe teenagers i don't but like i think that honestly this movie could have been a solid eight or nine for me if some of the scenes were cut out because the first half of the film your kind of legs start shaking because you're kind of wondering like okay like i wish it was a little faster paced uh, like the last part i would say the last 30 minutes was really great it picked it up but i feel like i wish that the paste that they added in the last 30 minutes was the same throughout the film because i just needed some more quick quicker decisions quicker turnaround the only character that you're trying to see is going to be a hero is santa claus you know and mm, well I, I feel like if they look the tone because the music was very like john williams -y, like home alone style you know very like constant presence you know with that kind of tone it could have gone more towards like a parody of these types of christmas movies but it felt like it was like kind of just embracing the same thing just with some edge and with mm -hmm. like you know some violence in it and 
to me, that doesn't make it edgy. Like, it doesn't make it... I feel like it would have been way more fun if they had gone full throttle into trying to, like, skewer this genre. It is just like a typical Christmas movie at the end of the day with some with some blood and guts. I think that what makes it edgy is literally Santa Claus is not your traditional Santa Claus. He's a very bad Santa Claus, and he's a Santa Claus who doesn't care anymore about being Santa Claus. And the whole arc of it is to make him care. And right. the, yeah, the movie seems most interested in just the action set pieces, which is great, but it's like all the time in between. There's some really wooden acting. I wasn't that thrilled about the performances. The dialogue was kind of cringy. The best parts were just like, it. I felt like the filmmaker was most comfortable in the scenes where it was just like creative action stuff involving like, you know, Christmas lights strangling, you know, just like impaling people through the head. Like that was where the interest was and that's where the movie was most creative and fun. But it's just like, you have to wait to get through all this other stuff that clearly is not their priority. If a lot of those things were cut out, Mm -hmm. would you think you would rate it higher? Do you think this would have been your kind of movie or do you feel like overall it's just kind of like not your taste? Not my well, not my thing because it, it, it wants to be edgy and cute and it's just has that kind of like Deadpool-ish you know, you hate Deadpool. I hate Deadpool. So yeah. if you like movies like Deadpool, you're probably going to like this a little bit more. Um, I do think that the pace, like I stated, um, needed to be worked on. But overall, I do recommend that you watch it. What about you? I pass. So if you're a moviegoer <laughs> like me, watch it. If you're a moviegoer like Jake, don't watch it. I would have. I think I would have. It seems like a movie I would have been fine with if I caught it on TV or it was just like streaming. But, but that's my point. It's like I never thought that the movie was going to be unpredictable christmas movies are usually not unpredictable they may have twists and turns it's not a surprise movie you're not watching it because you are expecting well, an ending that's different like you're not you're you know how it's going to play out but i mean maybe less like christmas i mean like die hard like once i once i saw that it was die hard it just it's just like okay let's go through the motions let's get to the action scenes because we know how this story is going to go yeah i want to watch that film now Die Hard? Yes, please. I want you. I've been wanting to watch Die Hard. You keep saying no. Well, it's a let's great watch movie. it now. I didn't. Now that you compared it to this one, I feel. Like. I'm sure people would love us to watch it. Let's move on to the spoiler section. What do you want to spoil? <laughs> well, as you stated, um, that it is about a girl who is a really good girl. She's in a nice list. She her parents are separated. She wants her parents to get back together, mm-hmm. um, but. Uh, she becomes like a voice of reason to Santa Claus because Santa Claus is like no one believes in Christmas for the the meaning of it anymore. People just want presents. He's getting tired of being Santa Claus and such things. I would say there's a couple things that I want to discuss what could have been improved. They keep talking about Santa Claus's background, which I feel like is fine in a scene, but they I feel like they keep harboring back to it and I feel like they didn't expand on his background enough. I felt like his background was interesting and they just teased like who he used to be. Honestly. But they keep talking about who he used to be like over and over again. But I, I, I wanted more of that. Really? Yeah, I was bored with the family who was just annoying stock characters who were just like trying to parody like wealthy families or whatever but it's just like i didn't really give a damn about them except a little girl in her relationship with santa which was the best part of the movie Mm -hmm. but i mean i would have liked to hear more about santa's life or whatever because he's like our main character um he's the most interesting character david harbour plays him pretty well well that's interesting i felt the opposite i felt like they could have just like i wanted it to focus more on the action sequences and him like just being a badass santa who's just going to kick everyone else's ass you know and like i i didn't like focus on that too much so that's interesting that you say that just a lot of like the action sequences where he gets caught they start to believe he's santa claus and then the bad guys start to believe he's santa claus and then he like escapes and then he goes back i felt like that could just been like cleaned up a little bit and it could have led from one thing to another like after no i am santa claus and they start to believe he's santa claus i wish there was some more a little more magic element to it instead of like them leaning into santa claus himself doesn't know how magic works can i speak on the magic real quick Mm -hmm. because i thought that was a flaw in the issue and, and that that led me to being um less interested in santa because we don't really know if he can die how many wounds can he withstand you know like seems like he can't because he's like well exactly the thing about die hard is 
it's just a normal guy, you know, like he can get seriously wounded. He can die. You know, this is like Santa Claus. There is some magic. We don't know how much he doesn't even know how much the magic works. So it starts to remove some of the stakes. You know, you're like, can he, can he actually be killed? Like, can he, like, how far can this, you know, go? So that made it a little less interesting. It, It doled the, the stakes a little bit. Ultimately, he can be saved if enough people believe in him. It it comes down to, like, the essence of what makes Santa Claus Santa Claus, right? Like, he... People who believe in him, he'll come to. People who are good, he'll come to. They're leaning so much into the good, like nice versus naughty list when the Santa himself is naughty. <laughs> well, also like the whole family, like they're hoarding this money and like the like we're supposed to care really about if the money gets stolen or whatever. Like we care about the little girl being safe. But once like we get to the end when the bad guys are just trying to run off with as much as cash as they can and Santa is still chasing after them to try to like ruthlessly murder each one in a brutal fashion you kind of go like does he really need to do this anymore at this point like i thought he was just trying to protect the girl you know but now he's just like i want to i want to kill every one of these people i wish they had leaned more into that because he's not a he's not like the nice santa he's a a little bit he's naughty he's a little ruthless he is very edgy like he wants vengeance he his previous life if they're going to talk about his background he was someone who enacted vengeance on a lot of people and you see a lot of that in there i wish there was a clear like this is a bad santa and we fucking love bad santa and we're this is a bad santa movie and we're not talking about the nice and naughty list as much and kind of seemed contradictory to how much he cared that a lot of people are being naughty yet he was being naughty himself <laughs> and doing the exact same thing yeah um, like if you're gonna make this edgy just like go full blast go just full like- bore it i don't want it like i want more action sequences i want more consistency in the action sequences because it felt like there was action sequences then there was pausing and a lot of like dialogue yeah. that was unnecessary and then it was going back to it i wish the girl was also a little bit more edgy in the sense that like you know this is a naughty santa claus and maybe she's a little more, more naughty too it kind of had a mix of both which i felt like didn't work as well for the film um and i think it made the whole film uh, the pace of it a lot slower that's my honestly biggest thing i think i would have rated it much higher but there were some parts where i'm like i get it like i don't I don't need to relive this. Like, I just want him to, like, kill some people. I just kind of wanted them to get to the point of the movie. It's supposed to be an action movie. It's supposed to be a fun movie. It's not as much of, like, a storyline as much as it is, like, taking people in their ass. So, Mm -hmm. And then I I agree with you. I want the magic system to be more, like... Clear. Like, what are the stakes? Can Santa be killed? Like, what's... Yeah, that sort of thing. I thought it would be fun if Mrs. Claus was in there, too. I love David Harbour. I love Stranger Things. You guys may have seen in um, our review for that. And, you know, I have a really soft spot for him because he's just, like... He reminds me, like, something about him is very interesting and the way he plays characters is super interesting to me. So I'd watch, honestly, any David Harbour movie. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We're really excited to watch other holiday-type films, so please let us know what else we should watch. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.